हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम अंकित एंड वेलकम टू माय चैनल आई एम हियर विद माय डेली प्रिडिक्शंस एंड एनालिसिस फॉर ग्लोबल मार्केट्स एंड कमोडिटीज एज वी हैड एक्सपेक्टेड एंड एज आई शेयर्ड इन माय वीकली एनालिसिस दैट मार्केट्स मे सी अ गुड ड्रॉप इन फर्स्ट टू ट्रेडिंग सेशंस फॉर द वीक एंड राइट नाउ इफ यू सी मोस्ट ऑफ द मार्केट स्पेशली जमनी is trading with 3.5% drop FTSE 100 with close to 3% drop and at the same time on the flip side commodity is seeing a good rise you can see gold already achieved 1995 silver at 2610 and crude specifically crude has achieved 128 dollars and ng at 5 dollars a level now what is going to happen today let's have a look don't forget to like share subscribe and comment don't forget to press the bell icon and stay tuned with the latest analysis uh, i am going to give you the trading levels here i am going to give you the target range i am going to give you the entries here so do watch till the end let's start the day with gold first see this is the 4 hour chart for so gold and on the 4 hour chart see couple of observations here a gap left here which is need to be covered if not today some point of time uh, some day but looking at it here also on the daily 4 uh, hour charts you will find that see it is still very much trading in this bullish channel and the support is right now available at here at around 1985 levels so only if it drops below 1985 one can go short else it may continue to rise the target is towards 2000 levels remember 2000 levels i had told in my weekly analysis also that beyond 1980 it is good to remain long on gold and possibly one can expect 2000 and 2000 Ten levels, so that is what we are expecting right now. Probably it might hit that before looking forward to a drop. But look at the four hour charts; it is extremely overbought, and hence it need a good drop. So probably once it starts dropping, it may try to drop sharp, and it can achieve the oversold level. So uh, what we can expect achieving a high at two thousand levels, probably it can see a good drop towards nineteen eighty, nineteen seventy one levels, and fill the gap, and then. we will see how it behaves macd lines are wide and divergent extremely overbought on the rsi side but remember once it is overbought it can sustain the overbought levels and on the 3 hour charts probably looking forward to see after this uh, consolidation and there it was the that the bulls are not trying to take the charge but right now it is trying to trade in this is the breakout candle and now trading in a extremely bullish zone right now so we have to be very cautious with the shorts only short is below 1985 levels as i said only short is below 1985 levels till the time it remains above 1985 one can remain long possibly it can rise a bit towards 2000 levels now look at the early charts on the early charts it has created a step here and you can see see lower highs and higher low uh, higher high higher lows and higher highs is what it is creating probably this it may give again the same rise again the same candle where you can expect it to hit 2000 levels now coming back to the daily charts here on the daily charts you will find that trading outside the bullinger bands trading outside the above the 2050 100 moving average and indicating that there is still probable bullishness here on gold and probably it may try to hit uh, 2000 levels before trying to take a drop right now it appears that this gap on the daily charts between 1970 and 1980 needs to be filled some point of time if not today and also look at this right now it is looking forward to this zone at 2000 probably it is going to hit 2000 2010 levels before looking forward to a drop on the nearest time frame yes it is overbought and it's ne it needs a drop but it may try to achieve a high before looking forward to a drop so i'll be looking forward to be beyond 1992 one can remain long with the target at 1997 2000 2005 and 2010 it can rise till there and from there we are going to look forward to a drop see uh it in general it is a hypothesis that it when it is bullish it may try to take it to extremes before looking forward to a, a or consolidate a bit and try to trade sideways to cool off the indicators and then resume the bull run so that is what is the expectation but for the day you can go short only below 1985 don't think of going going short beyond 1985 below 1985 one can go short for a target of 1980 1975 and 1970 levels below that is sky is the limit towards 1950 so take your positions accordingly so this is all from my side for gold now let's have a look at silver 
silver trading at 2600 levels and i think see it has all also tried to cover up the gap there is a gap between 2570 uh, to 2580 zone and now if it trades beyond 2610 probably it is going to hit 2620 2630 and 2640 level these two levels are going to be important for silver remember it is also overbought on stochastic but stochastic may uh, see there is a divergence there is a gap between the sell and the buy line probably it may try to converge a bit and cross over with the bullish candle today and then probably later uh, tomorrow day after tomorrow we may see a drop but it is overbought it needs to drop and that is what makes us a little bit cautious towards taking a long however if you look at the candle here it has created a tail and if it crosses beyond 26.10 probably we are going to look at 2620 2640 and this time it is it may give you a strong rise towards 2660 and 80 levels also MACD lines are wide and divergent let's have a look at the four hour charts on the four hour charts you will find that see on the four hour charts this candle is taking a resistance at 2610 trading outside the Bollinger Bands, it has tried to fill the gap, however failed to do so, getting the support at 2580 levels. And only short I will recommend once it is below 2570. So if it trades below 2570, you can go long and beyond 2610, you can go uh, go long. So 2570 is a good support, 2610 is a good resistance. In between these uh, almost 40 points, we have to be very cautious with our trading targets. And look at the MACD, uh, stochastic, stochastic is again overbought. See, I am telling you, uh, commodities are extremely at overbought levels. It can only sustain for next couple of days. And from there, we have to be very watchful. It is going to give you a steep rise beyond those. Maybe today, maybe tomorrow. But yes, commodities need to drop and the equities need to rise. I am once again reiterating, but how far this run can continue, we have to be observant. Today again, it seems to be bullish. Beyond 2610, you can go long, you can expect it to rise. MACD have crossed over, divergent, indicating a strong bullishness here and RSI overbought on the 4 hour charts. On the 3 hour charts, story is same. And yes, it is a very good uh, uh, long or it is a very good buy position beyond 6, 2610. Beyond 2610, we are going to look forward to an extreme rise towards 2620, 40, 60, 80. Uh, every resistance at almost 20 points there on silver and extremely overbought on the 3R charts as well. It is a buy on RSI is overbought. So to sum it up well, you can go long beyond 2610 levels. Rather, you can keep a cushion of, cushion of more five, 5 points. You can go long at 2615. Expect it to hit 2630, 2640, 2660 and 2680 levels. It can rise till there because silver has to gain the momentum. It is just broke out of this zone. See, this is the consolidation zone. It has broke out of this and trading with a bullish rise. Probably we can see it hitting the highs today and you can take a long entry accordingly. Any short entry on silver is recommended only below 2570 levels and only short entry on silver is recommended below 2570 levels i am reiterating again and again please take your positions accordingly now let's have a look at crude oil see first let's see the charts for crude oil crude oil us crude has already seen a high at 128 dollars today and that is the high which we had expected in our weekly analysis i had clearly told that it is a very good long long entry and probably it may try to hit 125 and 128 zone that is what we had seen now it has got a support at around 100 20 levels so only breaking this zone at 120 you can expect it to fill the gap see there is a large gap left to be filled till 115 dollar levels and we may see it coming back to these levels if it drops below 119 probably it is going to hit 115 also only short entry below 119 else one can remain long also on the daily charts you will find that the indicators here are at extremes trading outside the bollinger bands trading outside the channels in extremely bullish condition and looking at stochastic stochastic is overbought and it is looking forward to a sell so right now it is looking forward that probably crude may drop a little it has also seen a high at 128 it may try to uh, cool off a bit the next target only short entry below 119.5 the target is towards 115 and then towards 111 below that any point of time sky is the limit it can drop till 104 105 levels also on the upside till the time it remains 100 uh, above 120 
and uh, yes you can expect it to rise a bit you can expect it to head again towards 125 and 130 levels look at the four hour charts on the four hour charts it is giving lower highs higher lows and indicating that yes it is still bullish trying to give you pole and flag formation on the four hour, four hour charts and yes there is a support at 119 120 levels so only breaking this you can expect it to drop till towards 115 and then towards 111 levels else it may try to consolidate here and give a rally later again so probably till the time it remains above 120 you can expect it to rise and four hour charts looking downwards indicating that it may try to take a dip and its rsi is extremely overbought on the three hour chart similar is the story and yes it is overbought and on an early charts if you see there is a strong support coming into picture here at 120 levels with that support probably it is trying to rise so in some it is seen a high at 128 a support at 120 in between these levels we have to be very cautious but yes till the time it is above 120 levels you can expect it to rise you can probably expect it to hit 125 again and then 128 130 can also be seen but until the time it remains below 128 and 120 we have to be very cautious it may try to swing sideways and trade sideways any drop below 119.5 is a good entry to go short where you can expect 115, 112 and 111 levels. These are going to be very strong support levels at 110, 111, 112 and below that definitely it will try to hit 105. Take your positions accordingly. Don't try to take a short entry below 119, above 119.5. We have to be very cautious in between this zone at 120 to 128. Take your positions accordingly. It may still see a rise there is still enough steam left probably we can uh, see it rising but we have to be very cautious in between beyond 128 or 125 rather i will say it is going to rise again towards 130 133 and in fact sky is the limit on the upside that's the uh, uh, quote i would like to say also also i would like to remind one thing never try to catch a falling knife and never try to board a running train so with this let's have a look at natural gas see ng has already seen a high of 5.1 dollar level see i have told you in my weekly analysis that ng is definitely going to hit 5 dollar levels now it has hit 5.1 trying to consolidate a bit and yes it has already covered the gap for the week and nicely no gap left here despite a gap up there and if you look at the daily charts first let's come back to the daily charts see the gaps here on the ng are covered and the tail is already there trying to rise again so any rise any time uh, any point of time if you see it trading above 5.1 dollar levels that is the level beyond which you can go long however right now trading at the extremes of the bollinger bands there and it is giving it a little resistance at 5.1 and yes but below beyond 5.1 dollar levels you can you can definitely remain long and uh, probably right now it appears that for 4.9 dollar levels are definitely going to give it a strong support for any downside move also look at the four hour chart so before we proceed with the uh, charts let's have a look at the indicators there now on the indicators you will find that it is overbought is on the stochastic they are coming together coming together probably maybe it may see a couple of couple or more four hour candles in green before looking forward to a drop but yes these are overbought and hence need to be sold a little need to be cooled a little and macd is also uh, similarly and uh, you can see macd also on the buy side and divergent here indicating that yes markets are still bullish rsi is at comfortable levels here on the daily charts on the four hour charts you will find macd is similar and uh, stochastic is again overbought and if you look at the four hour chart there see it has seen a high it is probably trying to show a reversal or probably trying to make a pull and flag here kind of trying to consolidate in between this lower uh, higher lows lower highs indicating probably a little consolidation any breakout beyond 5.1 dollar levels one can remain long for 5.2 and then it will try to hit 5.35 so yes uh, beyond 5.1 dollar levels one can lo go long on uh, natural gas the next target is 5.2 and 5.35 levels on the downside on the downside uh, if it breaks if it breaks 5 dollar levels 
and there you can go long for 4.9 that yes below five dollar levels the next target to is to 4.9 and below that it will try to hit 4.75 dollar levels so take your positions accordingly it appears probably a breakout can be seen beyond 5.1 dollar levels else it may try to consolidate between 5 to 5.1 in between these we have to be little bit cautious 3 hour charts are comfortable MACD is still on buy and early charts are uh, trying to go into overbought levels and uh, yes to sum up well beyond 5.11 you can go long you can expect 5.2 5.35 levels and on the downside uh, below 4.9 levels you can go short for 4.8 4.72 so 4.75 and 4.6 levels take your positions accordingly now let's have a look at nifty nifty trading with quick 400 points of drop massive 400 points of drop here and trading in extreme red let's have a look at the daily charts first on the daily charts it appears till the time it remains below 16,000, it is going to give you equally big candle the size of the candle is the almost 400 points here 16400 to 16,000. And now 16,000 to 15,600. So it can try to hit 15,600 before looking forward to a retracement or any upside. As I shared in my weekly analysis also, that Nifty is looking forward to 15,500, 800 zone. This is going to be a strong support zone for Nifty for any further drop. Remember, below 15,800, uh, 15, we are bearish. And uh, anyways, in between 15,500 to 800, we have to be very cautious. Below that, it is definitely going to hit 15,200. These are the levels I have given you long back in last couple of days. And I was shouting this, that Nifty is going forward to a crash since long. And we had told it many a times that nifty might drop and with the same thing now for the day till the time it remains below 16,000 we can look forward to a drop till 15,600 which is going to be a stronger support for nifty now look at the dpo is strongly red the uh, stock i stick is oversold still there is a gap to be covered and hence we it may continue with the red candle and MACD lines wide divergent looking downwards there is no convergence here indicating that it may continue with the drop there and as i said in my daily weekly analysis that it has got still room to accommodate till the time it remains and it goes beyond oversold levels before looking forward to a rise that is what precisely has happened it has seen a good drop till now Probably it may continue with this momentum, achieve a low at around 15,600 for the day. And from there, uh, I'll be watchful tomorrow if it continues the drop or it may try to rise a bit. But only long entries beyond 16,000. Till 16,000, every rise is a good opportunity to short or to remain uh, sold on Nifty. On the 4 hour charts, it is oversold. And see, on the most of the indicators, it is oversold and trading outside the Bollinger Bands, trading at the bottom of the channels levels, it may continue with this momentum before trying to retrace back a bit on the upside. On the 3 hour charts, the story is same and we have seen a good drop till now. See, it is given you uh, this massive or nice beautiful curve there and right now the downside is open and uh, yes it may try to hit 15600 before trying to look forward to a rise and uh, after that it may retrace back again to 15800 and 15900 zone and then drop again so this is the cycle it is trying to move in so take your positions accordingly right now it appears we may see 15600 on the charts on the top side 16000 is the level Till the time it is below 16,000 today, don't take a long entry. And yes, from 15,600, 500 zone, it may try to retrace back a bit on the upside towards 15,800. And a probable trading zone between 15,500 to 15, 16,000 is the call for the day. Trade accordingly. Take your positions accordingly. Now let's have a look at US 30. US 30 trading at 33,170 levels. And remember, this time it has come out, it is exactly right now at a support level. So this zone at 33,100 and 33,000, I'll be watchful of. Breaking 33,000, it is going to give you an enormous red candle, taking it towards 32,800, 32,700, 32,500. See, uh, why I'm saying so, it is going to give you a red candle, enormous red candle. It is again a consolidation zone. 
and it is coming out of this consolidation zone so if it breaks this zone at 33100 and 33000 specifically if it breaks this zone at 33000 it is going to give you sharp red candle and similarly this is going to be the waterfall which we are expecting probably it may see show you a good drop till again 32500 and then it may take you below levels also so be cautious with the longs here any long entry is recommended only beyond 33 uh, I could say 33 300 yes there you can take a long entry if you see it trading beyond 33 300 yeah there you can take a long entry and see there is a little gap to be filled probably it may try to rise till towards 33 600 zone but don't take a long entry below 33 300 it may continue to uh, with the drop here and uh, uh, see on the daily charts here you will find that it is trying to enter, enter into oversold zone sustain there for a little and then bounce back so we are still looking forward to 32 500 32 700 zone which it may try to achieve for the week as i shared in my weekly analysis we are looking forward to this zone before it tries to retrace back a bit and also uh, watch that analysis it is a detailed analysis i told very clearly that for next couple of days be cautious it may try to drop and that is what exactly has happened and it has got still a long a distance to cover before trying to bounce back we are looking forward to below 33300 till the time it remains today below we may expect it to drop till towards 32800 327 32700 32500 zones now look at the stochastic there on the daily uh, macd there on the daily charts have just crossed over and are looking divergent rsi is comfortable now coming back to the 4 hour charts, on the 4 hour charts the only long entry appears see this is the 2050 moving average at around 33,450-33,600 zone and the support coming into picture at 33,100. So probably taking a shot below 33,100 you won't get, uh, uh, you won't regret it taking a shot below 33,100 there you can expect it to drop below 33,000 and 32,800 in fact it can drop till 32,500 also be very cautious here any long entry is beyond 33,400 rather I will say uh, before we were looking for 33,300 but uh, yes 33,300 400 zone there can be still greater support look at the stochastic there now looking again towards getting into oversold zone and continue with the bearish momentum probably it may try to hit 32,900, 32,800 zone before looking forward to a rise there. MACD still sell side wide divergent and on the two hour chart similar is the story and everything is at comfortable levels right now probably it has got still some room on the near term time frame that it can drop with this momentum. On the hourly charts yes similar is the story and any drop below 33,100 is a good level to go short and yes uh, to summarize the uh, observations here any long entry beyond 33350 you can expect 33450 33500 33600 these three levels are going to be important for us 30 on the downside once it breaks 33100 you can take a short entry for 33000 32900 32800 32700 and 32500 remember it can drop till 32500 before looking forward to a rise and probably one can remain short for the week till it is below 33100 levels and yes 33350 you can go long for 33500 33600 this zone at 33600 is going to be important beyond that i will consider this as reversal and it may rise a bit so take your positions accordingly now let's have a look at us 100 look at the hourly charts for us 100 see it is also trying to for, uh, move uh, or form a rhythm for a good sharp break and probably uh, maybe next hour or this hour itself it is going to give you a good break towards 13500 and 13400 zone so this much bigger candle can be achieved here and there the target is towards 13440 and below levels and also it is oversold on the hourly charts probably it may see a bounce back later in the day today but let's come back to the daily charts on the daily charts see on the daily charts the story is in fact same here and you can see that there is a stronger resistance at above 33 13700 once it rises beyond 13700 you can expect it to rise towards 13800 zone here so 13700 if it crosses it is going to definitely rise to beyond 13800 level till the time it remains below 13700 probably we are going to look forward to another red day where see the size of the candle is diminishing here but yes in fact 
there is still some room to drop and yes this zone at 13400 is definitely going to be a stronger support as i shared in my weekly analysis 13500 400 zone definitely may provide a stronger resistance on the daily charts you will find that still there is lot much gap to cover though that it is it is already in the oversold zone but to for these two lines to come up together and cross over it may take couple more days before it tries to bounce back and as i shared in my weekly analysis we are looking forward to a uh, rise after only two days but in this next couple of days we may see or uh, markets may correct sharp move or markets may show a sharp correction in between these two days before looking forward to a rise and they may try to achieve a bottom at 13200 zone before looking forward to a rise there but yes a rise is certain because it is oversold and this is going to be extremely sharp rise there is a crossover on MACD on the daily charts it is a crossover on the daily charts probably if it continues it may try to what it will try to do it will give you sharp red candle today taking it towards 13400 13300 13200 can also be expected in the same day and make the wide uh, make the MACD lines wide and divergent there before and sustain there in sell side for a little long before trying to cross over again so this is what is the expectation one can remain short till the time it remains below 13700 one can remain short one can expect 13500 levels to provide a little support see in this zone between 13500 to 550 we have to be very cautious with our shorts it can still bounce back and till the time it remains above 13700 uh, below 13700 and 500 we have to be very cautious below 13500 one can remain short one can expect 13400 definitely is there then 13330 and 13200 will also be achieved today itself take your positions accordingly but let's have a look at the four hour charts there RSI here is almost near bottom. Four R charts are near bottom there, and probably I'll be watchful there today uh, for next couple of candles how it behaves. Then it may definitely rise with the US session, but it can damage a bit before that session starts. MACD lines wide divergent and on sell side. RSI trading near bottom, and if you look at the four R charts there. On the 4-hour chart, see, it is still looking forward to give you a sharp drop and that is why I say uh, once it goes beyond 13700, then only I will recommend you to go long. Else, it can continue with this momentum. It can come back till towards 13400 levels before looking forward to a rise. And yes, this is what is appears on the 4-hour charts, on the 3-hour charts. And on the 3-hour charts, this candle has just begun. It is formed a tail formed a wick looking forward to a drop there any drop below 13500 you can expect it to hit at least 13400 before looking forward to a rise there any long entry beyond 13700 is recommended don't trade between 13500 to 13700 levels looking forward to a drop there and this is all for the day for us 100 don't trade between 13500 to 13700 uh, zone Above 13,700, you can take a long entry for 13,820 and 13,900 and 14,000 levels. I don't expect that it is going to hit 14,000 today. But yes, these are markets and it is going to take a sharp move. If it takes beyond 13,800, definitely it will give you a sharp up move towards 14,000. This is also you can expect on the downside because 13,500 to 13,700 zone is a strong support zone. Any drop below 13,500 is a very good entry to go short again for uh, 13,400, 13,200 levels and from there it may rise again. So this is what we can see here on the uh, US 100. Take your positions accordingly. Now let's have a look at FTSE 100. See FTSE 100 trading below the critical resistance and support zone between 6,800 to 7,000. These two levels were very important for FTSE 100. Breaking below this, trading below this, it is indicated, it's indication, it's, uh, it is indicated that yes, it is still very bearish. I share the same in my weekly analysis that below uh, 7000 levels, definitely it may try to hit 6800 levels, which is going to be stronger support, but it is broken that support trading below 6800, but this is just on an early chart. It is also oversold there. And now let's have a look at the daily charts directly before we look at the uh, further charts there. Look at the daily charts, the previous candle, we can see almost from 7,250 uh, to 7,250 points. Now it has started at 6,950. How far it can go? It can at least achieve 6,700 levels, first target. And in fact, it can go till towards 6,600. So it can give you almost equal length of candle there. Uh, and if you not miss the calculation there, almost, I think here it has got 300 points there. 300, 300 points, yes, precisely 300 points. So from 6960, 6950 to 300 points, it can try to achieve 
six six five zero levels before looking forward to a rise right now it is trading in extremely bearish category also remember the long term resistance was at six eight hundred sixty eight hundred to seven thousand is a very strong support zone i told many a times now footsie hundred has crossed and breached that level it trading in a bearish territory probably it may try to achieve six 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 zero six six five zero zone and yes on the upside it may fall back again in back in this zone between 6800 to 7000 we have to be very cautious any long entries beyond 7000 levels only on the daily charts it is oversold remember it has to bounce back all the equities needs to bounce back but before that how far how low that can go that is the question and still yes for as i shared again i am re-emphasizing i shared a detailed analysis in my weekly analysis i told that for next couple of days market may see a good beating before trying to rise and that is what precisely we can see right now it is trading with a good drop we can expect 6660 levels and beyond 6800 between 6800 to 67000 levels we have to be cautious there but this is on the daily charts let's have a look at the four hour charts there on the four hour charts the candle is uh, red after this minor retracement this is the first red candle probably it may give you the second red candle taking it towards 6660 6600 levels i think it must be oversold on the four hour charts it is oversold on the four hour charts it has to bounce back uh, remember markets has have to retrieve market have to retrace market have to go up but before that it may achieve a low macd is wide and divergent on a sell rsi is oversold here and on the three hour charts also it is oversold so yes in some go short below 6750 where you can expect 6700 and 6660 these two levels 6600 66, uh, and 6660 these two levels are important if it trades below 6750 you can expect it to drop and beyond 60 i'll recommend only a long entry beyond 6900 at least if it trades above 6900 you can expect 6950 and 7000 levels till the time it is between 6950 and 60 750 i will not recommend you to go long so 6900 to 6750 i will not recommend you to go long or short below 6750 yes you can take a short entry there for 6700 6660 and 6600 above 6900 you can take a long entry for 6950 7000 and beyond that sky is the limit so this is all for 400 now let's have a look at germany 40 germany 40 has seen a good betting and in last four days itself it has almost shed 1500 points massive 1500 points making it almost 10 to 12 percent of drop there and right now today itself it is trading with a three and a half percent drop close to three and a half percent drop those who watch my weekly analysis must appreciate i told that it will achieve 12500 to 12700 zone before trying to bounce back and bid right now trading at 12650 so yes you should appreciate my efforts too now look at the daily charts only long entry beyond 12900 also look at the charts how far this could go if that is the question here look at this previously 13700 to 13200 500 points now 13900 to no oh, sorry 12900 to 12500 and 12400 it can give you equally big red candle so yes probably it may try to hit 12500 and 12400 zone but where to enter we will have a look here look at the 4 hour charts near to over, oversold levels uh, it is an oversold zone but it still has this red line and green line yet to converge a crossover has to happen then only it will bounce back and hence we may see couple more candles before this happens RSI oversold on the daily charts MACD is oversold there and wide and divergent on the 4 hour charts oversold hence may retrace back a bit but look at this as i told 12950 here that is the level beyond which one can go long else a retracement till 12800 12870 uh, 12900 any point of time you see a retracement till 12800 also you can go short there again expect it to hit 12600 12500 zone and uh, yes it is trading with extremely bearish move right now oversold rsi oversold everything is oversold here it has to bounce back but how far this could rise that is the question and look at the three hour charts how beautiful it is uh, gathered and shown this momentum right now the bottom is open hence 12500 12400 zone can be achieved today and only long entries beyond 12800 where you can expect it to hit 12950 and 13000 levels only long entry beyond 12800 beyond that you can expect it to hit 12950 
13,000 levels. Right now, oversold on the 3 hour charts as well. Oversold, oversold, and hence it needs to bounce back. But before that, it may try to achieve 12,550, uh, 12,500, and 12,400 can also be seen on Germany 40 today. We have to be very cautious with the longs there. Any long entry for time being can be taken at 12800 where you can expect it to rise till towards 12950 and 13000 levels till the time it remains below 12800 one can expect or one can expect it to continue drop and achieve a low at around 12550 and 12400 probably take your positions accordingly this is all from my side and if you like and appreciate my effort don't forget to like share subscribe and comment don't forget to press the bell icon and you can join my telegram channel you can join my mentorship batch the next batch is starting on 14th of march book your seats uh, seats are filling fast take your positions accordingly thank you very much have a great profitable trading day thank you